What do the dustmen do with these debtors they buy? Hey. You don't want to know. <laughs> Haul debtors inside the gate, put them on slabs, cut them up, bury them, or make them walk. No? What? What are you looking at me for? I was waiting for the hype. Well, it's right there. I see. Make them walk? Hey, they make Push. some get back up. If the debtor gives the dustman leave to, and the debtor becomes a skills or a zombs. Oh, yes, the zombs zombs. Is the front gate the only way inside the mortuary? Hi! Only dead or dustmen go in gate, they do! You want pox make you dead or again? Ah, uh, again? Hi! Many time, you ask! Pox always do! How many times exactly? Many time, hi! So, we've met before? Hi! What do you know about me? Who am I? You a deader that don't stay dead for long, hi! Deal square with pox, you do! Do you know anything else about me? Appar apparently repeating himself is something else. Uh, do you know anything else besides that? <laughs> oh, do you know anything uh, else besides that? Catch! Catch! Quickly! <laughs> Someone call the developers! Complain, get a refund! It was free! Do you know someone named Farod? Hi! Farod! Collector! Big! Name has weight! Cast long shadow it does! Hi! Collector? Hi! Collector! Gathers debtors! Bring them to Dustman for Jink! Do you know where I might find him? Hi! In the hive here he is! Somewheres! Hi! Jink sounds like a drug. Jink is money. Uh, Sigil and the planers, they have their own slang. It, Yo! It's, it's meant to make it seem like totally alien because it's played fucking weird, dog. As in, I'm ta I'm, a, I'm a fucking dead guy with a floating skull next to him, talking to a little girl man with a purple rash. A little girl. <laughs> Is he wearing a skirt? He's, he's, he's in a robe. Well, yeah, then he give me a trap. Can you be more specific? Hi! Somewhere's in the hive he is! Fair old hide he does! Very hard finding he is! Not worth finding he is! Not worth finding? What do you mean? Hi! Many hates him! Other collectors, even. Sharegrave hates him. Not like Farrod at all, hi? Sharegrave? Hi! Sharegrave, big name. Carry weight, cast long shadow, he does. Tell Pox what to do, he does. Would your boss, this Sharegrave, know where Farrod is? Updated my journal. Hi! Sharegrave knows docks, he does. Knows Farrod a hiding, he does. Sharegrave and Rag pick a square many blocks west of here, hi? Say, Sharegrave, that Pox send you. Tell him. Share grave, become share copper with Pox, he will, hi? Huh? Rag, pick a square west of here, alright. I'll go look for the share grave there, then. Wait, so those people inside might have known you, and you killed them. Probably. They were just trying to help you, and you just murdered them. How do you feel? I didn't have a choice. I tried to murder one guy. That didn't work, <laughs> so. it didn't work so well, so I had to murder the rest. I tried to go from a mur- well, yeah, it started off, you just wanted some booty, and then you started off, what? What the hell is that thing? Oh, Adabas. Those things are cool. All right. You see a tall creature with a shock of white hair. Its skin has a greenish cast, and a pair of goat horns protrude from its forehead. Meow. It is dressed in long flowing robes and appears to be floating slightly above the ground. Hello there. The creature turns to face you, and a series of symbols appear around its head. The symbols have a slight glow about them, and they just... hover there. You can't read them? Oh, for the power's sake! Piking Dabus! What's wrong? He's a Dabus. They speak in rebuses, these annoying word puzzles. If you don't know what he's saying, then we better find a native or some other way to communicate with him. If we want to. An annoying bunch. My bet, they can speak. They would just rather piss everyone else off by trying to puzzle out what they're saying. What's a Dabas? Chances they're janitors for the Lady of Pain. They float around br breaking, fixing, and patching up sigil according to her whims. They're worse than corpse flies, Morte sighs. You can't swat them, though, or the Lady will get upset. The Pain! The Lady of Pain? That sounds like a wrestler or a dominatrix. Lady of Pain? Who's What's that? What's the difference? Ooh. She runs the city. You'll know if you see her, she's got these blades around her face, and she's about the size of a giant, 
and she floats off the ground just like these guys. Ah, yes, the bolder sadistic sister. Oh my. Morte nods at the dogs, who is looking at you both. <laughs> Nobody knows much about her. She doesn't speak much. All you need to know is that you don't want to make her angry. If you see her, my advice, run. I see. The Davos waits patiently, its hands tucked into its sleeves. A series of symbols materializes over its head. Then they vanish and a question mark appears. Uh, ba ba, what, what do we do here? Nah. Don't trust the one. <laughs> don't bother talking to him. He's got nothing important to say. The Davos bows slightly. Symbols swirl around its head and then it turns away. He, he seemed like a friendly All right. dude. You well, know. you can't understand. I'm gone. But, you know, what I did understand was Brandon. I'm gone. Let's see, we're done. What is he wearing? You should slap him for wearing that. Who? That. <laughs> yeah. Bane the Sender. Oh, Batman! <laughs> you see a heavy set man with sharp features and a pained expression. Despite his huge frame, however, he has an effeminate look about him. And unlike the other yeah. residents you've seen, he looks to have bathed recently. As you approach, he looks up hopefully and calls out in a high voice Craddock, good sir! What? Eh. His hopeful expression dies as he studies your face. A thousand apologies, good sir, if I have given offense. He gives a slight bow. I am called Bane the Sender, third child of Die Bane the Sender. I am one of many runners in the employee of the House of Senders. Maybe he was born of darkness. No, he was molded by it. Wait, did I get that wrong? I think I did. Anyway. No apologies necessary, Bane. Uh, what do you want? A thousand apologies for troubling you with such a trivial matter, but I see Craddock, an overseer in the hive. Bane looks like he's in pain. But alas, he eludes me. He looks at you hopefully again. Could it be you have heard of such a man? Damn it, why can't you lie? <laughs> why can't you have the option to slap this guy? I, I totally do. I, can... I mean, just like in conversation. <laughs> what I was guess that I didn't for? You're wearing it. that. He's wearing the purple suit. He deserved it. I'm sorry, I haven't. Bane gives a deep sigh. I am bound to deliver a message to him, and as yet, fortune has chosen not to favor me. I can't help you. Look, I must take my leave. Farewell. <laughs> Look, but it's not that I don't want to help you. It's just that you're, you're wearing a purple suit. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, where is she? Gone. Where is she? There she is! This is what I wanted to show you guys. A harlot. You see a tired looking woman dressed in a tight leather bodice and leggings. The odor of cheap perfume surrounds her like a cloud, and her face is covered with a mask of crude makeup. She smiles as she sees you. Why don't you stay and chat with me a bit, love? Xavier's gonna like this. The woman looks coyly at you. Now you look to be a blood who's lost something. Mayhap I can help you find it, Cutter. She smiles slightly. Oh. What good fortune. We probably lost what we were looking for back at your kip, miss. Actually, I'm missing a journal. Eh? What are you about? Uh... What I'm really missing. Armor. <laughs> Her tone becomes businesslike. I love now there's the matter of a finder's fee. Oh, you bitch. I see how much. Some coppers for a glance at what you're missing, and ten coppers to actually find what you're missing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if it's important, you need it. What's the answer, X? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Tom, what do you think? Leave me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a group effort. Done. Fuck you. This is a... <laughs> I think you found what you're looking for. Come along then, though. Bam! That was the entire section. It was still more sexual than Mass Effects. Yeah, I guess so. I had some questions for you. Well, now that I can concentrate. The woman frowns. <laughs> Wait, Mike? Well, I guess so. <laughs> like, like I, like, what, what did she do when she saw that? Like, it's like, hold on, I gotta 
give it life. I, I think I'm... Well, I, I have... Or did she though. give it life with, with you know, mouth-to-mouth? Rigor mortis. He's just in a constant... Or, you know, vigor mortis. He's in a constant state of rigor mortis? Yes. The woman frowns. I'm not a tout, she frowns, she then does. rubs two fingers together. Unless you've got some jink to pay for me time. I can pay you how much? For a handsome basher like yourself. She gives a wide smile, revealing a row of dirty teeth. Three coppers will be enough to loosen me tongue. She licks her lips and frowns. Other questions of a deeper chant will cost you more, though. Sounds fair. Here's three comments. Aye, then. She slips the jink into her palm where it promptly vanishes. Now, there were some things I wanted to know. Ask your questions, Who though. am I? Uh... What can you tell me about the Lady of Pain? <laughs> she spits and makes a half circle around her heart. That bladed witch, all high and mighty mistress of all this city. Floating and silent, she kills anyone in her shadow. She sends, she tends to the city, I, she hisses, and leaves the living things in it to rot. What is that? What is making a half circle around her heart? I, I'm guessing that's a sigil thing. They have their own slang, they have their own customs. It's a, it's a, they really developed the shit out of this world. I'll, I will look it up for you. Was there any reason for that thing? It's, I don't know, people have, like, the finger. Following it, so maybe not as pure. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll finish it. I'm looking for someone named Farod. Didn't I, did I not just fucking click Farod? Okay. There we go. Farod, now that's one of the greater darks left. If you be wanting to know about that blood, that'll be thrice the coppers of a normal acid. This whore. Seriously. Can you take? Can you murder her and take her money? Yes. Take it then. I, I, yes. Take, take the GTA I can, route. I can grant Theft Auto this chick all day. I don't think anyone's gonna miss the whore. So you, you just sit in the car and it kind of shakes. You don't actually do anything. Do you remember that? No. You got a whore in Grand Theft Auto Three. You just kind of sat in the car. It shook, but you just sat there, <laughs> and then she made the moans. I don't know. Maybe you had a very strange penis. Prehensile? Like Berserk. What you be wanting to know about old Farad? At that price, anything you can tell me about him. She shrugs. Chances he's a collectibles. He's got a whole bunch of bloods in his shadow. Where can I find him? Now, no one knows for dead sure, but if I were to suggest a place, look. I'd say Rag Picker Square. I fucking already knew that. Fucking Thanks for the information. Time to... Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill it. Oh, th this. What? Chief, uh, can you sport me some jink? It's, uh, been a long time it has. I'm not even going to ask how you intend to accomplish this. The woman breaks in. It's twice the cost for the Mimir. Or any other degenerate. Uh, Mimir... Maybe you should talk an encyclopedia. That's me, Chief. I see. Uh... <laughs> I'm probably saving you from dying twice. May a puck shrivel your innards. You have the stink and fashion sense of a goat herd, and you're twice as ugly. Uh... You taunt. All right. <laughs> Morte stares, hypnotized, as the harlot lets loose a stream of obscenities. At the end of the verbal avalanche, Morte is silent for a moment, then turns to you. Wow, Chief. Got me a few more taunts for the old arsenal. <laughs> he turns back to the harlot, who is catching her breath. Oh, I guess that should have been in the Greenwood voice. I'm also in love. You leave. After I fucking murder you. <laughs> well, so much for Catagut. That was a nice fight for you. No one cares. No. Oh god, you killed- Oh, never mind, you just killed a whore. Mun's back, and I got a ring that I can't fucking. Yeah, it's probably a cock ring. You don't want that. It's probably your cock ring. You already have it. That, or you had like some kind of apparatus. Oh, fucking more guns. Okay, now say you're sorry. No one blame me. Hold the key, bitch. Oh. How to cut your eye? I can't. <laughs> 
but I can't equip my rings, which, as far as I know, do nothing. Yeah. Don't want to part with that. Cannot remove I. I uh, why is that an option? I'm assuming you can at some point. He's built only on Nameless One and Morte. Describing the sight of it, judging by the crew, text appears to be that the bracelet works by being held in a living creature, then whilst pronouncing a mantra to the true death, it is touched to the forehead of a zombie or skeleton. When this is done, the minor enchantment held within the item spreads to the corpse, strengthening their bones, killing traces of corpse rot in her grave mold, and helping to seal the minor tears in the skin. So it's... So it's cure minor wounds for you? Uh, for dead people, I guess, at least, and I still have... <gasps> I have embalming fluid. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh my god! My carrying capacity is huge! Your my inventory is not! <laughs> your inventory is not! <laughs> I'm just gonna carry around like three horses just so I don't waste it. Oh, because carrying around horses isn't waste? Why not ride it? Because then I have to feel like an asshole with empty inventory space and a 150-pound carry capacity. Well, you can ride one horse, you can keep the other two in your pockets. Then I need a fourth horse! Okay! Why are horses less than 100 pounds? That's a good question, actually. I didn't think that would work. That it is. Like, do you have toy horses? That's, no, that's or, only or, do you, or do you have, Or do you have, like, those broomsticks with the... With the horse head, and you're just kind of like, yay, horsey! <laughs> and, and you got like spurs. And you're a Wild West one. <laughs> I like how the Abyss is quitting the game. <laughs>